Hi, I'm Holden, and this is Philip, and we're here at Geek Point to uh, review uh, The Hobbit, Battle of the Four Armies, and then the Eagles game. Oh, okay. So you've got five there, right? Yep. Okay, <laughs> so I'd like to point out that I am a pretty big Tolkien fan. I am... I love The Hobbit book. Um, what did we call... Uh, the the middle one the middle Peter uh, Jackson what, wasn't the middle one the um, um, desolation of desolation Peter Jackson. of Peter Jackson right um, so I'd like to point out that Peter Jackson is pretty awesome sometimes but this isn't a Hobbit this is Welcome to New Zealand <laughs> <laughs> yeah this, this is a promotional film for New Zealand. Except I don't know how much of it was actually shot, shot in New Zealand. I think all the mountain scenes were okay, shot well, in New Zealand. Okay, yeah. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We have a few bones to pick with the movie, so let's start with the bad. I'll go first. Um, so, you've got Legolas in this movie, and Azog the Defiler, and, yeah, so, uh... Is there anybody that Tolkien mentioned that isn't in this film? No. Um, let's see, what else is there? Oh, right. So, this movie is visually stunning. The scenery is gorgeous. The frame rate is kind of cool because it's different. And it's got a lot of really cool, kind of gritty action scenes. But Bilbo's feet look really fake. They did. Oh, I, they, I wasn't paying attention. Every, to that. every every time he stopped, they 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 just kind of like shook like jello. It was kind of amusing. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Um, and you know, there there's a bunch of stuff where um, you know, I was sitting next to Frosty, and the entire movie we we were sitting there snickering at, at this stuff. For example, the one use troll ram. Oh, that's a good part, though. Is that? Oh, it, it's good, but it's, but it's stupid Ugh. at the same time. Because... Oh my God! This... But I don't want to use my this hand. This troll comes <laughs> running in with a rock on his head, and he smashes to the wall and knocks himself out. Yeah, <laughs> if he doesn't kill himself. But anyway, um, and and the 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 uh, troll mounted artillery would be kind of cool, except it's. Kind of stupid, too. I mean, it's cool that it's troll-mounted, but at the same time, seriously, Peter Jackson? Seriously? Everything is troll-mounted? Anyway, and, and you know... The, the... If I were to say one thing that I didn't like about the movie, it's called the Battle of the Five Armies. The Fifth Army, which is the Eagles, doesn't come According in. to our count, unless According you count both count. orc armies. Oh, or both tro or both dwarf sides. All right, Dane and uh, Thorin. Uh, uh, they don't show up until the last scene of the movie, and they are yeah. there for a few seconds. So I'm like, the entire time I'm like, where's the fifth army? Where's the fifth army? Yeah. You know what there would have been a better title for that film? Uh, the Hobbit, the Psychosis of Thorin. Yeah, because the entire movie is... It's focused on his mental breakdown. Anyway, um... But, you know... I feel like this is the sort of thing that happens if you give somebody a ton of power and a really cool project and give them free reign. Because nobody's going to say no to them. Nobody's going to say no to Peter Jackson after the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Because the Lord of the Rings wasn't actually all that horrible. Oh, I really liked it. Um, but the, his first mistake was trying to stretch The Hobbit. His second mistake was adding in all of the cool new stuff. And, I mean, and focusing really heavily on effects and whatnot is just, it doesn't carry the film. The story should carry the film. And the story takes a back seat to a lot of stuff. And I don't like it. Um, good. The good is it looks really awesome. Yeah, I mean, Lots if you total, cool. the good is if you totally ignore it being a Hobbit movie, yeah. you actually see that it's actually a well-put-together movie. 
The visual effects are great. The pacing of the movie was pretty decent. Mm -hmm. uh, there was comedy. There was action. There was some sad parts. There were some sad parts. There was wonderful Scottish accents. Hey. Um, this here is a door for fair. So you all can just saw it off. Yes. I mean, that, that character is my favorite. He's got a massive hammer, but does he need to use it? No, he uses his head. I mean, and his tongue. On. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so it's a really great movie, but it isn't a Hobbit movie. These three movies are really great. They're only loosely based on The Hobbit. And also Smog. Smog, I don't know. They hype Smog up in the so first movie much. and the second movie, and then he dies before the title scene in the third one. Yeah. Like your own. Plus, not really. poor Benedict Cumberbatch. Awesome actor. He plays both Smog and Sauron, and you can't even tell because they reverberate his voice. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't sound like him. It's this wonderfully awful, deep, growly, roaring I mean, voice he's... that is totally indistinguishable. I mean, it's just noise. And that's the thing is, he can actually have a nice, low, growling voice without the reverberation. Well, and part of it is that, that they've got the balance so screwed up on that that, you know, hit, hit, you get distortion, actually, in the theater. We got distortion from Smog's voice. Sound distortion. And Sauron didn't really talk all that much. Yeah, he no. had a couple lines in this movie before he basically got uh, bitch slapped more. by uh, <laughs> yeah. Galadriel. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so long and short of it is looking at it as the Hobbit movie. It's an absolutely awful film. Yeah, it, it gets three tops only because it looks cool but looking at it as a film as in a fantasy story i would its own standalone its thing. own standalone thing i would give it a six yeah six out of seven i mean we're not kidding it is a great movie as long as you're not a huge fan of the hobbit anyway it smells like something's burning it's probably my toast i'll see you later stay